nice little setup. <laughs> but we, we don't have to shout. We can just be real cool. <laughs> yeah, um, real collective. cool. It's Nakia and the show with Chicago Now. I'm here with Ronnie and Shamari DeVoe. Yes. yes. I the first of all, I love the fact that we all kind of have some red popping off right here. Oh, yes. Oh, you know, we got style. We got style. Fashion. We got grace. Ball. You know, Rainbow tag jumping off. Right yes. Now, a little red. Yes. In that. You know, Bobby's always wearing red stuff when everybody else is wearing black or white. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's funny. I interviewed Bobby about two years ago. That was pretty cool for me. Yeah. Um, and I've actually got to interview, like, you know, the whole group once mm -hmm. before, years ago. Right. But now we're seeing you, Ronnie, as yes. well as you. Mm -hmm. I found out some information about you. We'll talk about that in a minute. Ooh, I wonder <laughs> what that is. Is that on or off camera? No, right? no, no. no. It's, we're going to talk about it. But uh, <laughs> one uh Thing. We're seeing you kind of in a different light mm -hmm. with the new reality show. That's and right. I was shocked. I'm like, a reality show? Yeah. But the way that you guys explained it, because I saw your interview on The Breakfast Club and just kind of like really opening up. Because I was wondering, why would you guys even do that? Mm -hmm. So um, the way you opened up about yeah. sharing your relationship mm -hmm. and just sharing your journey, mm -hmm. I think that that was amazing. Um, tell me a little bit more about, like, I was just talking to your assistant. He said you guys are an open book. Do you feel vulnerable, though, at the same time, even though you guys are very open? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like I'm very transparent yeah. for a reason, and it's not my job or our job as marriage ambassadors to be quiet. It is it is my job to speak the truth because I do want to help other couples that feel like there's no way out of their challenges. You know, I just I feel like, you know, in a way you have to be vulnerable right. to a sense to um to really talk about your life, you know, right. and just be that open book. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we definitely opened ourselves up to criticism and comments all on social media about people's perception of what they didn't know mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. about us because we were quiet you know behind the scenes individuals and whatever their perception was we didn't tarnish it to a certain extent but now we're an open book like my wife said and I think it's starting to come around and people are seeing the value of why we jumped onto that platform and raised our awareness as a couple to be able to ultimately that's my favorite word um, ultimately inspire <laughs> other married married couples and families uh, to stick and stay together yeah that's yeah. what it's all about just inspiring and encouraging one another and mm -hmm. holding these events that we have with other like-minded couples like we do a married for life walk like mm -hmm. every single year right. our third annual is coming up april 27th in that's atlanta right. georgia and mm -hmm. we just really excited about it and just that we, w we went through something that was, you know, at a time where I was in that state of brokenness. So that was my way of dealing with the pain. Like, oh, yeah, let's do an open relationship. But right. um, the more Is it from get being hurt in the past or just in general, just, like where did that brokenness come it just, from? It just comes. It happens to the best of us. Like, it, you know, it's just at that point, I ju had just lost my best friend's sister, Natina, who, who right. got killed by a car right and yeah. it was just a really really tough time for me so that state of brokenness it could have been triggered by that but um initially I did have to come back to my faith and my principles and realize yeah. that this openness right here had to stop yeah. because I needed to be with my husband this is who God put me with and yeah. I have to value the sanctity of marriage and once we put God first and started to pray together he blessed us tremendously mm -hmm. like we were even trying to have kids before that and it wasn't until we actually got through our challenges and overcame them that he blessed us with our twins yes <laughs> and yeah. I, I they're so cute let's yeah. just start thank there you, thank you. is thank there you. something because I you know I'm in a relationship but I'm not in a relationship as long as you guys have been but you know you do go through those moments of like insecurity and mm -hmm. Um, you're growing, trying to grow together, but sometimes you grow apart. And was that ever a fear or was that a, ever a struggle? 
Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it happens in any and every relationship. They say you get to that seven-year itch, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. that was actually right around the time where we began to stray away from each other, opening our relationship and allowing Pandora's box to be open. And then, you know, you start to get jealousy and deceit and envy entering into our union. And um, I think it's just a matter of having the foundation. Like, we don't really know there's not a blueprint for relationship. You know, we both came from um, uh, parents in households that were divorced early on in, you know, our lives. So um, our marriage counselors revealed to us that you almost have to go back to your parents and see the error of your ways, you know, Mm -hmm. because some of the stuff that they do in turn kind of is a revolving door to a certain extent so um i think every couple every relationship is going to get to a point where you have to figure out how to set a firm foundation and like shamari said god first and we got couples counseling and therapy and they were able to give us some tools of the trade to allow us to come back together and set a firm foundation yeah and i love that you guys you've put out (laughs) <laughs> an album together which is so yeah, cute yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> now well, I mm-hmm. realized just like a couple of I don't know what I was doing I mean I know in the 90s I was still young so I did listen to black but I didn't realize you were one of the members in there mm-hmm. oh. until so you only know me from the housewives well <laughs> <laughs> listen you right. know what I'm saying I, I mean we sold <laughs> over five million records <laughs> <laughs> no. sure and did. I feel so ashamed to even admit that yeah, listen, um, we was in bring it on I know coat, that was a coat following but you Chili, look so right different there. to me I don't know why mm-hmm. I mean I, what are you I trying know. to say you trying to say I look old? She trying no. to say, boy, when you got with me, you started <laughs> shining even brighter. Nah. <laughs> when I saw you, nah, 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 for honestly, I said, she kind of looks like Monica to me. I know. They've been saying that since yeah. the 90s. 90s. Yes, yeah. they've been saying that since Black. When Black first came out, I would hear that all the time. You look just like Monica. You look just like Monica. Monica, Monica, Monica. I Monica, interviewed Monica. her, and I mean, I'm just like, God, it's kind of uncanny, but... I don't know. I mean, I was still kind of young in the 90s and you just listening to music and vibing off of it. But you don't really at that time, you didn't really get to know who the artists were for me. For me, it's Mm -hmm. not like now social media, you get a chance to kind of see behind, you know, the lives of people. So I was like, oh, well, yeah, she could really sing then, you know, (laughs) this is about to be a good album. So let's talk about the music on there and how you guys like collab and did that in the studio. Well, it's been five years in the making, honestly. Yeah. Oh, we started wow. working on music back in 2013-ish. 13, yeah. Um, it was, you know, at a quiet moment in Black's career, a quiet moment in New Edition and Belle Biv DeVoe's career. And, I mean, I love Shamari's voice. I think she has one of the most beautiful voices that I've ever heard. And I hear it in the shower. I hear it around the house. And she was a little tainted by the music industry. She went mm-hmm. to school, got a degree and all of the above and I seen that she was beginning to get that passion back for music and singing and I'm like yo there's the love is kind of missing to a certain extent in the music industry right so five years ago we started to work on our music and it uh, it was EDM like kind of house music Chicago was very well known for that Mm -hmm. genre of music because we wanted to do something a little different and uh, we just started honing our skills and over time we felt like it was going to come out a lot earlier but those challenges began to arise in our relationship so it wasn't able to see the light of day but God has his plan, yeah. you know, and fast forward five years, we have a new single out right now. It's called Love Comes Through. Mm. It's about the power of love and sticking and staying mm-hmm. together and staying connected, you know, yes. with one another and yes. sharing that vision with other people. And um, it's doing very well right now. We just performed on Windy City Live. That was our yeah. very first oh, live wow. performance right here yeah. in okay. Chicago. Were you yes, nervous of the at song. all? Oh. Of course, yeah. I was nervous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very, because it's mm. live, and yeah. like if you mess up, it's like it's You're nothing not you gonna mess up. Back. though. you know, right. but it's still you know get nervous every now and yeah, then. Yeah, it was yeah. our first performance. Yeah, that's you know, true. Together, together right. and it's yeah. on live television. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, to this day, I get butterflies. You Do know, you? every <laughs> time before I go on stage. But as so- soon as you hear 
hear the roar of the crowd and they say, ladies and gentlemen, me and Mari or the uh, the DeVos or Black or what have you, it all subsides and yeah. it's down to business. Um, Get that but energy. Yes, yes. Uh, we have probably about 50 songs that we've recorded over time and we're looking to release our next project or our first project, you know, as um, a couple um, right around our anniversary, March 10th. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, so that's going down. Thirteen years married. Mm. Yes. 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 yes, eighteen so years and together. People say thirteen is unlucky, but not in our no, case. No, definitely all. not unlucky. We're actually blessed. staying on the thirteenth floor, right here in this hotel, and it's a beautiful thing. Yes, yes. yes. See, that's that's see, yeah. see the see, numbers. See, yeah, see the see numbers. numbers thing. You feel us? <laughs> Before you go, I, I, I go tell me to wrap up. But what is some advice? I know you guys have been learning about, you know couple and couple therapy but what's some advice that you could give other couples if you were to tell them anything don't be scared to get help it's okay to to seek the services of a marriage coach a lot of times you know in the black community and yes, men they don't want to black men they yeah. don't want to go get help and it's okay we seek out fitness coaches vocal coaches acting coaches so what's wrong with a marriage coach like mm -hmm. it's definitely has been a blessing in our relationship because they've taught us so many things um how to active listen to each other and right. also learning each other's love languages and speaking to those so i would definitely say seek that help from a licensed qualified marriage coach okay on on that note blessings to you yes. it's it's thank been you. a blessing for me to even talk to you guys and thank you for sharing and opening up thank and you. i hope to have you back on here again yes of and we course. can talk about some other music on the album as well after we go yes. diamond with this new yes. album right <laughs> exactly. yes yes again love comes love through Chicago. on all digital plat where your phone at where your phone at <laughs> hold your phone up hold your phone up right now and download that boy. I yes. stop playing. Yes, <laughs> do that. All right. Thanks, guys. All Thank right. you.